Good afternoon, this is Bruce. Oh, it's afternoon here in, uh, in Perth. Um, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. We've um, had to break away the jobs that I had lined up for the for the today and the getter outs and I've got which might be able to call the quad pin uh, getter out. Um, this is a tool um, it's got some exotic stuff inside of it and um, it's got four holding pins in the periphery here. Um, I've removed three and uh, they were unable to get them out. These, these pins are stainless steel inside of stainless steel. And they were unable to get them out with the, with the shock puller to have a very small thread in there. So what I've opted to do, uh, first of all I had to establish the, the length and the depth and, and whether I could get them out uh, conventionally, which I, I have done. So we're going to proceed now and do the last one the same as the others. Now the letter that they've sent to me is that there's a spring inside and when these get released this part is going to come out by five millimeters now in order to get this all uh get get the uh, pointed up i i've um put it on two v blocks and i've put another v block in the back here as a stopper so that every time i was turning it i'm always stick i'm always on that same line um, and that stopper with this uh, clamp down will stop this from jumping until I release that off. That's what I'm, 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 a, I'm a certain. So we've got that locked up. It's all good. Um, and we're going to proceed, first of all, and drill that small hole out and then go to, a, again, go to an M10, a 10 millimeter tapping uh, hole, and then we're going to tap it, and then we're going to, then we're going to remove it. Um, so we're off. The first thing we're using is a two flute, two flute cutter. Um, this is a uh, carbide cutter, and I'm using this to um, uh, to drill out that thread. And then after that, we'll proceed. It'll be a pilot for the um, other one. So I'll give it a bit of my favourite black stuff. And a few more revs and we'll feed that down we'll cut the, we're cutting the thread out basically and jumping a bit as it's pulling those threads out this is stainless, it's all stainless um, 316 um, and part of it's hardened as well ok Still getting a little bit of drift there, but not much. So we'll leave it at that. Give her a little bit of a burble. We are recording, aren't we? Yep, we're recording. Um, now we change over. Uh, this is a, an eight and a half mil, which is the tapping diameter for the 10 mil thread. I'm going to slow it down a bit and we're going to be careful here that it doesn't grab. This is um, I'll pack it a bit just to get rid of that that long sword. I'll have to resharpen all these tools after this job. I don't know what number this getter out is, I'll find out when I upload it. But I think we'll call it the quad pin. Um, there's some curly stuff in there, I'll get rid of that. It has a tendency sometimes to bind. Um, so we're careful not to over over pressurize it. Well, you normally try to keep pressure on stainless steel. But in this case, with this particular geometry on this particular drill bit. So there we go. 
we've got that. Um, we've got that out. I'm oh, sorry, I've we drilled that hole. We'll now just hand tap a fraction with a uh, an intermediate because it's not such a deep hole. I, d I don't want to go with a full taper, so we we'll just use the intermediate and just hand tap it a fraction. Um, we'll hand hand tap by by using the chuck just just so that we can get a good a good line up on the centre. And then we'll move the table out and um, we'll hand tap the rest of it. You just won't have to shift the camera and we'll see in a sec. If you can um, see that okay, otherwise I'll relocate. Uh, yeah, we'll move it, we'll move around a fraction. Okay, so now we'll progressively hand tap this, I've got a bit more even. There's lots of Keep that as taps clear all the, as much as we possibly can uh, to minimise the op possibility of, of a, a strong bind up and consequent to that a broken tap. Um, now that we've got the start. Um, down a few threads, I'm going to revert to the um, butt tap because it's because it's a short. Um, it's only a very, not a very deep hole. And we've got a visitor. We've been lucky this summer. Not to have many flies around this part of the world, which is abnormal. But um, one's decided to make a Saturday jaunt into here. We're almost at the bottom. Probably enough thread, but I prefer to have more rather than less, uh, so we don't have a situation where we actually pull the stud out. And it's pretty tight because even this pressure of um, of the tapping hasn't moved that that pin. So um, one would assume that the size of the hole that they had there before uh, wasn't going to lend itself to be an easy getter out. Um, so we've got that all tapped. Now we're going to pull it out. So what, what we've done here is um, we've taken up taken a socket and um, and an allen screw take one more washer off there and basically we've made ourselves a puller and we'll use that puller to remove the pin there we go it's coming It's already raised its ugly head above the um, above the tool. I'll just add another washer. Do a bit more.
We'll add a couple more washes. And so we've already got the other three out. There we have it. Another successful gutter out. We might have to put that in the in the vise to get that. Uh, oh no, there we go. So there we have it, and it's quite a bit of pressure, obviously, on that because it's already pushed the uh, pushed this away, actually. Um, that five millimeters that they said, but that's the pin. Uh, there was four of those and done a successful job. So we'll see you shortly because we're going to have another movie going up.